Hi, this is Laura Sage, and I am so excited for our second episode of Mind Over Matter. And I'm really excited to introduce everybody to our guest, Linda Perry, who is a very dear friend of mine and a master coach. Um, Linda is in Colorado. Hey, Linda. Hey, Laura. It's good to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you. How's Colorado today? Colorado is hot and beautiful today. Sunny as always. Did you go hiking? I didn't this morning, but um, I might go this afternoon. Depends. I'm jealous. It's hot and sticky here in Chicago today. Um, Linda and I actually yeah. work together. So Linda knows all about Chicago weather. Um, we, we have been friends for a very long time. We have not connected since COVID hit, um, but your, your family is healthy. Every, everybody's healthy and doing really well. Okay, excellent. Um, so we're here to talk a little bit about um, how we can help people live less stressed and more mindful lives. And I know that Linda um, is a big believer in mindfulness and incorporates this into her business. So I'd love for you to tell us a little bit about that and also about, a little bit about um, the people that you work with and, and the kind of work that you do with these entrepreneurs. Awesome. So, um, you know, mindfulness was not just something that came easy to me. So it has been a growth, but I am a master mindset coach. I work with entrepreneurs who are really in that growth phase of business where mindset really matters because and mindfulness, right? They go hand in hand because there's so much happening in the growth phase that in order to really intentionally build a business, you have to stay grounded in your vision, in the things that you want, in making sure that you're not making decisions out of sort of that place of fear, of the place of scarcity, of the place that we sometimes tend to make decisions. So I teach um, entrepreneurs how to really ground themselves, land, find more success by really um, connecting to a more powerful mindset. So I remember when we were starting Chill and there were so many decisions that had to be made and um, I didn't have as big or as beautiful of a team that I have right now. And I would have loved to have had somebody like you help me um, get grounded. Can you talk a little bit about the tools that you use to help the entrepreneurs that you work with do that? Yeah, absolutely. So you know, I kind of talk about my version of mindset being a little bit like practical woo because we're always focusing on, okay, so what's happening in your subconscious brain and how do we quiet the noise so you can really tune into the signals. So we talk about fears. We talk about limiting beliefs. We talk about how your subconscious brain is driving your decision-making. And we talk about how do you get into the present moment so that you're not always worrying about the what ifs of tomorrow and your mistakes of your past. And so it's really about helping people make decisions in a healthy present state of mind. So you, you make me think of two different questions that I have for you. How do you help sure. somebody get into their subconscious brain? Cool. So um, there's a couple of different things that I do. So in my work, we should talk about talking to the head and the heart. So there are a bunch of skills that we talk about. And in my group programs, in my one-on-one, -on -one, what we really are doing is helping you dismantle some of those blocks. And so we talk to the head and talk about things like limiting beliefs. But then I do what I call guided meditations. They're not quite meditations in the traditional sense, but they're um, explorations where people are invited to close their eyes, with, go within and connect with some of that subconscious brain programming that they can't really easily access and then create some shifts for them. It is a little bit you know, like we're reprogramming some of the subconscious patterns that people have so that a limiting belief can become an empowering one. Fear can become your friend. All of those things that we talk about some tools like boundaries, how do you use boundaries? to really keep yourself in. And so it's a bunch of life skills that are incredibly practical in the end because they're allowing you to move forward. And coaching is really about action. So everything that we do is taking your new subconscious programming and creating action in the outer world. So that's kind of how we do it. It's a little bit more complicated as we're going in it, but it's really fun. So are you 
guiding your clients through meditations? I am. So in particular, um, in particular, yeah, in every, every session, like I have a membership where I take, I offer two guided meditations per month. Mm -hmm. I used to do them recorded, but now I'm doing them live because I kind of love being able to interact with my, um, my audience. And so I am doing them twice a month. I do them in my private coaching. I do them in my group coaching because they're, they're guided meditations in terms of they're writing answers down to some of the questions I'm asking. So they're, they're exercises and meditations together. So if I understand this correctly, when you're, when you're, um, coaching somebody one-on-one, -on -one, you might guide them in a private meditation. But in addition to that, you also host a couple meditations per week or month that all of your clients are welcome to participate in. Yeah, I have a membership that I open up a few times a year that I invite people into. It's actually so affordable and I keep people um, in there and really provide a guided experience through the year. So it's not really haphazard. I know it's really based on an entrepreneur growth sort of path. And yeah, it's, um, I write my own meditations at this point. It's really fun. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Um, we had talked about this before, but I'm pretty candid about focusing a little too much on the future. And so, um, you know, during my daily practice, it's really important to me and it helps me um, stay focused on the present. Are you skewed towards the present, you know, past or future? Like what, what's your natural inclination? I had to think about that for a second. And I really think I'm a past girl. I think I ruminate over all my mistakes and think about how, oh, did I, did I say the wrong thing? Did I, did I hurt someone's feelings? Did I, I could have done that better, right? I actually leap into the future sometimes just <laughs> leaping without thinking. Um, not really like without thinking, but I like to leap into the future. So I get stuck in my past patterns. Mm -hmm. And, and, have you, um, like, do you ever have somebody guide you in meditations? I do. Um, you know, I'm really lucky still to have a wide network of coaches and I have them guide me through those kinds of meditations. Um, I definitely like using guided meditations cause I'm not good at doing them by myself. Mm -hmm. So, um, I tend to still be somewhat cerebral. And so it's really um, good to be guided. It's really helpful for me. Have you, have you um, tried Chill Anywhere yet? I have, I have. I actually, um, the second I saw it, you post about it, I of course downloaded it right away. Thank um, you, appreciate that. Of course. Um, I was really excited because one of the things about not being in Chicago is that I can't structure that time where I didn't get to come in to chill like I wanted to. I think I'd moved right as it was like becoming really big. And so it wasn't, it's, it's something that I really miss. And so I really love having the app because I'm really good at my morning structure, right? I get up, I read, I then have free thinking time where I write and then I go to the gym. What I've found with the chill app um, is that I set a reminder for 3 p.m. because that's such a weak time of day for me. Mm -hmm. And it, it just reminds me to go in there. And I really like the um, focus, the stuff about stress and focus because I happen to have a fair amount of it at all times. So me too. Just, those have been really good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Um, if somebody would like to be in touch with you and learn more about how you work with entrepreneurs and executives, how would they go about reaching you? Um, you can find me on my website, which is lindampery.com. I'm also always on Instagram at lynda.m.perry. So I find me either of those places, LinkedIn, I'm fairly active on as well. So reach out if you have questions, how I work, how I help, even just any kind of question, I'm always happy to answer. I answer all my own emails. And Linda, people don't need to be in Colorado to work with you, right? No. In fact, all my clients are really on Zoom. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've been on Zoom for years. <laughs> so yeah, it's, um, I work with people from around the world even. I've had clients in Australia, everywhere, so. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I appreciate it. Of course, I always love spending time with you. So thanks yeah, for having such me. such a pleasure. Thanks. See you later. Thank you. Bye.